we'll show you how to build a fold down wall desk. We use quarter inch plywood. Because the piece of plywood was so big initially, we decided to kind of make a straight line using a level and clamps and a circular saw to cut it so we could make it a little more manageable before we put it in the table saw. The finished desktop will be five feet long and 20 inches deep. However, because we planned on putting trim around the edge of the table, we made it to compensate for the width of that trim, we made it 58 and a half inches long and 18 and a half inches deep. We used a table saw to rip the width of our trim three quarters of an inch. We used a miter saw to cut each corner 45 degrees. The first measurement will be short to short as indicated by the red line. This will actually be the corners of the plywood that you are measuring, but with a 45 degree angle on each end flaring out as illustrated by the orange lines. So really think about your measurements and think this through because once you cut, if you cut it too short, you have to get a new piece of trim and recut it. So try not to be wasteful and really think it through on the front end. We cut the two long pieces first. We use wood glue and then finishing nails to nail on the trim. Here you can see a good 45 degree angle that we cut with a miter saw. Now we're going to cut the two end short pieces. We will get our measurement for these two end pieces now measuring long to long, basically the, the pointed tips of the trim that we've already installed. But both of those ends will be cut at a 45 degree angle. This was a piece of trim we measured long to long that will be the end of the table. And we will do another long to long measurement for the other end piece of the desktop. We will use wood glue and finishing nails to nail these pieces in place. This picture shows a good example of a 45 degree angle. We will install our drop down desk on our newly constructed half wall. We ordered two 14 inch folding shelf brackets. I'll put the link in the description below. Each bracket was installed in a stud. Neil used a level as he installed the second bracket. We needed a long drill bit to reach the screws. The fold down wall desk is now installed. Neil used a hole saw, basically a, a circular drill bit you attach to a drill to drill a hole like you would for a doorknob. He made a hole in the back of the table so I could feed lamp cords, computer cords, and other such cords down to the receptacle. All right, this is a drop down desk that we made and we'll show you just how easy it is to put it up. And then to put it down, just press the levers and drop it right down. I also really like this desk because we created a hole, um, cut a hole in the top. We all centered it because if I want a lamp or computer cords, I don't necessarily want them in the middle. So I had Neil all center it so my lamp wouldn't be in the middle, but kind of to the side. And I can just feed down my electrical cords through that hole and plug them right in the outlet to charge my laptop, my phone, computer, whatever. So love that added feature. And here is the final result. Here is the fold down desk with the hinges lowered and the desktop flat against the wall. Click the link in the description for the corresponding blog posts and for other related links. For other DIY home improvement projects, visit lifewithneilandsues.com.